Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you 50 cool builds which will bring life to your Minecraft world. Let's get into it. But before we get much further I'll just remind you that if you want to see more videos like this or other Minecraft building content you can hit that subscribe button for more epic content. So number one, walls. Yes, I know that's simple, but I mean more of a rubble-like wall, like what you might find around, say, sheep fields in the countryside. But just a few of these joining between hills can really make it feel like there is more life in your world than just yourself. Number two, a block of salt. Quite often in sheep and other fields of animals, you might find a block of salt to get animals the minerals they need. This can be done with a diorite block, quartz block, calcite, skeleton skull, or other custom head. Number three, so we're still on the field theme and therefore we have a cow pat. Well, if you really want to build this, it can be done with brown carpet, pod sole, brown wool, brown concrete powder, a spruce trapdoor, or a spruce pressure plate. Number four, so this is the last of the stuff for a field, but it's a haystack or just hay bales in general. Either for food or for just storage of the hay, this is a cool little decoration. Number five, a telecom tower. So if your world is mostly in a modern style, this can be a cool little detail to suggest that there may be other people out there in the world. Just a load of stone brick walls, iron bars and some blocks for dishes can create this cool build. Number six, staying with the communication theme, a semaphore tower. Back before telephone, one of the best ways to communicate long distances was semaphore, and either a ruined one or a network of working ones can suggest that others live in your world too. Number seven, power or telephone lines. Whether to suggest communication or just electricity's existence, this can add a bit of life to your Minecraft world. Just a few deep slate tile walls, some polished deep slate blocks and a dark oak fence can create this build. Number 8. Fence. Although not as complex as a wall, this combination of fence and fence gate produces a more interesting fence than a usual Minecraft fence, if you know what I mean. Number 9, a style. Need to cross a fence? This style can be a cool little feature, especially when combined with a footpath, or what do you know? Number 10, a signpost. Yes, this small little build, when in combination with a style and footpath, looks really neat. Just a few stone brick walls, a spruce fence, and a cobblestone slab, and of course, some signs create this small little decoration. Have a house in the countryside and want to add a little extra bit of detail? Well, why not add number 11, a propane tank, to suggest that you have to stock up on a bit of fuel every so often as you're so off the grid. One place you could put a propane tank next to would be number 12, a barn. In here you could store hay or barrels or various things and this is a cool detail, working or ruined. Now, number 13, a vineyard. Why not build one of these using azalea leaves and flowering azalea leaves to look like grapes? This can be a really cool addition to your world, especially if it is massive. Number 14. What's the easiest way to bring life to your world? Roads, of course. Building these country roads for your Minecraft worlds can be a nice detail to the sometimes lifeless valleys of Minecraft. With some bushes either side of this, this can be a really cool addition. Number 15. If your road is entering a field, you need a cattle grid. These things make sure that livestock don't escape, so for a bit of realism, add this using some acacia trap doors. Number 16. Thinking back to the star and signpost earlier, why not add some footpaths to your Minecraft world? Some footpaths suggesting ways to go can be a cool way to travel or just a little decoration. Number 17. A campsite. This can be a nice little detail in the depths of a forest or in a field to bring life to your world. Just a campfire and a tent can do a lot for your world. Number 18, a medieval beacon. If your world is more fantasy or medieval style, why not add some of these to a town or in the countryside as a waypoint or communication device? Number 19, these three dead coral fans are cool details to a forest as animal traps. If that is what you want to add to your forest, but still, if you say have a hut for a hunter or something, you can add some traps on shelves or stuff like that. These fans are the brain, horn and tube fans if you are interested. Number 20, we've got another detail for a forest. If you need someone to be collecting firewood or just sticks for some reason, why not make a bundle of sticks using some signs and some mangrove roots? Number 21, these piles of stones are cairns, human-made piles of stones either for burial monuments, memorials or markers. These are cool details on the peaks of mountains or in other significant places. Number 22, a bird watching hut. Why not add one of these into the countryside, say along a footpath? Although there are only really chickens and parrots as birds in Minecraft, still you can give the idea that there are more than these colourful fellows. Number 23, a bird box. 
Trying to make a tree look more interesting? Well, why not add a bird box to the side by putting a beehive? I mean, they, they look close enough. <laughs> now, number 24. Thinking back to the road, why not add a medieval caravan to the road? This cool cart could be the home of a traveller or a merchant or both? Well, you, you all know about the wandering trader. Anyway, this is a cool little detail for your Minecraft world. Number 25. A similar build to the caravan is a cart. Why not build this next to a road using some dark oak wood, some trapdoors, etc. Anyway, let's move on to number 26. Why not build a beaver dam partway across a river or stream? This is a cool little detail suggesting that the engineers of the natural world exist in Minecraft. I mean, this is a nice detail, small or large. Number 27. Speaking of streams, why not build a stream in your world, eventually joining with a river as it adds some extra realism to the Minecraft world. Just build a one wide stream of water. Number 28. Continuing with streams, why not add some stepping stones over a river or a wide stream so you can jump or walk across. This can be a really cool detail when paired with a footpath. Number 29. Again, continuing with streams, why not build some river or stream vegetation? Some reeds and other lush plants around the water. Use some sugarcane, drip leaf, grass, whatever. It can add a lot of life. Number 30. Again with the water theme, why not build a raft on a lake or river as a little form of transportation? This can be a really nice detail, especially when paired with number 31, a dock. This is a nice detail on the shore of the sea or a river, etc. Just some pillars and platforms between is all you need to create this build. Number 32. Staying with the water theme, why not build a fishing boat like this? Either with sails or oars, this can be a cool detail to a river or lake. If you still have a fairly undetailed river, why not build number 33, a water mill? Building this next to a wheat field or something like this can add lots of life to your world. Staying on the theme of mills, why not build number 34, a windmill? This classic build can add lots of detail to your world, whether this size or much smaller. Remember, when building a windmill, try to do a slightly conical shape like what I've done here. Now we've got a more modern build, why not build number 35, a wind turbine? Although it doesn't spin, it does add some detail, especially when you have a whole farm of these. Build it with some white concrete or with quartz, depending on how rich you are. Another small detail you can add to your world is number 36, a well. This can fit into a town or just the middle of nowhere. Just some cobblestone and oak wood with a chain going into the ground can add lots of life to your world. Now, yet again, another water-themed build, number 37, a pond. Either in a garden or in the countryside, this can be a really nice little detail, especially if you add many number 38s to it. Now, what of number 38s? Yes, I, Rock Builder, have done a rock building tutorial. Uh, number 38 is rocks. These can be built with some cobblestone, stone, and andesite with a combination of walls, stairs, blocks, and slabs. And if this video gets to, say, I know 10 likes, I might do a full rock building tutorial. Uh, showing how to do the texturing for them and that sort of thing, uh, I might be a bit mad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now we move on to number 39, a felled tree. In the middle of a forest, a felled tree can add a bit of contrast and with other builds can create a bit of a story. Speaking of those builds, let's move on to number 40, a log pile. A log pile can be a nice detail with some rails as ropes holding the pile together and to finish this trio, we have number 41, a lumberjack hut. This small hut has a quartz roof, terracotta walls, though you can change these to whatever works best. Inside you can have a grindstone, some barrels for storage, and an axe itself. Now we move to number 42, a ruined house. Quite often in a forest or in the countryside you can come across a ruined house, often overgrown, but this one is just ruined. Using some weathering you can make cracks in the walls, and then adding leaves etc can make it more overgrown if you want to do that. Continuing with the ruins or overgrown theme, we have number 43, an overgrown minecart track. With some leaves and moss, we can make a nice effect, especially when we build this next to number 44, an abandoned mineshaft. This ruined build can bring a lot of life into your world. With andesite, cobble and stone, you can make a nice rubble effect inside the strict spruce support, and I hope you'll agree it's much better than the naturally spawning structures, although it doesn't have any loot inside. <laughs> Continuing with the mining theme, we have number 45, mining waste. Especially in the modern day, mines produce large quantities of this waste, 
and quite often dump it onto these large piles. If you want to add some realism to a quarry or mine, add one of these using gravel. You could even try using suspicious gravel or that sort of thing, though that might make it too sus. Moving back to the overgrown stuff, we have number 46, an abandoned railway or railroad. Using some anvils or walls, if you aren't rich, you can add some rails to some spruce sleepers and then with leaves and moss can make it overgrown. Again, with the railway theme, you can add number 47, an embankment. Either with rails, overgrown rails, or none, you can make a large bank to make the railway, which is or used to be there, stay level instead of going downhill, as railways can't really steeply go downhill. So these are what they use instead. Now for number 48, we have the opposite, a cutting. You can cut, if you like, into the ground to make an artificial valley for a railway. And yeah, this is the opposite of the embankment. And you could even add a tunnel to the end if you're going into a hill, instead of cutting all of it out. Now, staying with the railway theme, we have a water tower for number 49. When a steam loco needs to top up to stop it exploding, well, that is sort of what it is doing, well, there would have been a water tower. So whether you have a working railway or a ruined one, it's a nice detail for your Minecraft world. And finishing off the video, we have number 50, a semaphore signal for the railway using some diorite wall and trapdoors. This is a nice detail for a ruined or working railway, and I think it's a decent one to finish off the video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more like this, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!